it's not on Facebook. Um, I am going to be starting with, hi, Kara. Hi, Kara. I will be starting when we're giving more time for people to jump on. Hi, Lisa. With my take, we have two different, there's no absolute way to meditate. So we have two different processes that we both utilized. And we're gonna give you a quick sample of both. It's not what you think. Or it might be. So we, or it might be, or it might be. We are giving everybody about five minutes to jump on. We have found that usually we thank you for being prompt. I would recommend the pen and paper if you want. Um, the sample will be helpful to anchor all the information in. Hi, hi, Sanjay. Oh, you cannot nope. unmute yourself. Benita. I just enjoys her husband. Oh, okay, Sorry. Benita. Hi. Sorry. Thank you for letting us know, Benita. Hi, Lisa. Beautiful. We're going to give everyone just a couple more minutes to join those who are joining. So if you want to utilize the chat and let us know if you what you guys come up to that is um makes it difficult to meditate or maybe you just have never tried you don't know what it is um, and then that way while we're sharing our experience and our knowledge with you we could hit the pinpoints of your own as well <laughs> really that orange juice looks so good <laughs> you need some orange juice miss <laughs> janice Beautiful. Thanks for coming. Miss so, Janice. And our link is there. We'll put this in our free community if you want to revisit it. There's lots of other resources there. Some cool stuff. But I am so glad that you guys are here because meditation has absolutely expanded my experience, my connection. And I never thought I could meditate. Never. I mean, I. <laughs> so it is really cool. And a lot of people think of it in a certain way. And that has not been my experience. And Trinity here has, uh, she's been meditating a lot longer than me. I've been maybe a year and a half, two years. <clears throat> So let's see, we have 5.32, we allow people to hop out early, so we'll give it about three more minutes max. Max, max, max. The timekeeper. I am the timekeeper. <laughs> it's my new nickname. My nickname is also Shamama, I'll just chat while we're, the name Shamama came, I used to be called Mama Sherry by my daughter-in-law and people that know me, I'm very maternal. And the name Shamama was, it's been a journey guys. You open up to meditation, you open up to so many different things that are just such a blessing. But I was helping my daughter-in-law out with some stuff and I was doing an emotion code on her and it was really cool. I wish that, that was videotaped, but I was, I really must have been a shaman at some point because <laughs> I the ceremony turned into very shamanic, shamanic ceremony and so I got the nickname Shamama I do like yeah. it but now I'm the timekeeper as well we need a nickname for Trinity mm -hmm. Trinity works <laughs> <laughs> Trinity works uh, Trinity works <laughs> Trinity uh, <laughs> I have some um yeah, he's showing us the orange juice. Yeah. The drama, the orange juice. Um, Finn. Sometimes I'm called Finn as well. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I used to be called Share Bear. <clears throat> Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Timekeeper says one minute. <laughs> one minute, you guys. One minute. <clears throat> 
Oh, so I know sometimes I've come up to different obstacles with meditating. A lot that come up with everyone that we have spoke to is a lot of my mind is too busy. I'm, I, uh, I can't shut my brain off. So if that's you, give us the thumbs up or put that in the chat and maybe we'll be able to talk on a few ways that can help with that. Um, mm -hmm. I've also met several people who just simply do not know what meditation is, period. So we're going to go through um, some examples of ways that you most likely have experienced meditation without even knowing it. So <laughs> perfect. Da -da -da -da, 535. All right. <laughs> Timekeeper. So I, I'm going to share my, ex my experience and how I conquered the meditation. I'll call it the meditation mountain and then Trinity will share her, hers. And I think if you guys uh, don't mind, we're going to do a short example of each and you could put them both together and take what you would like to use and what resonates with you. So I don't know, has anybody ever watched the movie, um, what women want with Mel Gibson? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when he got the gift of reading women's minds and he's walking through central park and he would hear what women were thinking that is literally how most people, not just women, our minds work, right? The thoughts are just going and going and going. And that's how my mind always worked. I was always thinking about what happened in the past, what's going to happen in the future. If I did this, if I did that, what I got to do and all these thoughts. And so I had tried to meditate and I would sit there and it was nothing but thoughts. And that actually didn't relax me at all. So when I really wanted to give it a second try, what I did was I gave my mind something else to be busy with that was um, in a, alignment with relaxing and um, allowing. But most of that is this process. I'm going to explain it and explain why it's good. And then we'll give a quick example. I'll, I'll do a, a sample meditation. So for me, I sat there. And what I learned first was something called the grounding cord. And I know some of you attend more events, but that's very common. So I, I occupied my mind with a, a step A, step B, step C. The first one was the grounding cord, which is at the base of your spine. And you visualize from the base of your spine, a rope or cord going into the earth. And that has two benefits. One is occupying your mind. And the other one is when you visualize that really you in your mind's eye, see it going through the floor, through the dirt and all the layers, and then going to the center and coming back up, you could send love to Gaia. I like to do that. And coming back up, imagine this beautiful magnetic energy. And when you imagine that, imagine it coming into your body and through your physical body and I visualize it connecting with my cells and my muscles. And truly when you're visualizing it, it, something interesting occurs, you actually begin to feel it. Also, so then I'm kind of feeling into my body and I'm relaxing and I'm feeling that and that magnetic energy has an effect. So I draw in energy from below in the earth and then I visualize, I use a tube. I visualize a tube from our creator source coming down the top of my head with unconditional love. And then I visualize that soaking in and I relax into that. And you may say, okay, well that's two processes, but my mind's gonna start thinking now. That's where the third step for me came in my mind, once I'm visualizing all this energy, I start to relax even more. But as then I keep my mind busy with thoughts of gratitude. When you are grateful, so I started with simple things, my house, my food, uh, my pets, my husband, my this, you know, whatever you could think of. But those thoughts are in your head, keeping it busy. But this is cool. You take the thought and you visualize the thought moving down, 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 down to your heart. 
And it's, it's weird, but when you visualize that, you begin to expand your heart in love and gratitude. And the combination between the magnetic energy, source energy, and gratitude, you will notice, I would guess maybe after about seven times, I don't remember how long it took, I started to feel the energy field around me. And let me tell you, the coolest thing is that opened up so many things because that opened up bliss and just allowing me to clear my mind. Once I felt that energy field, it's like a hot shower. Exactly. It's, it's like a hot, I mean, you just, you really just feel the energy field and that opened up expansion of we could call them gifts we could call them whatever we want but it opened up the um expanding light language came in um i channel now in this frequency and this energy field is just so loving and so beautiful so that's my process and i'll take you through it that's kind of simplified but that's pretty much it grounding cord source light gratitude take the gratitude and when you bring in the energy from the earth just feel it and when you bring it in from above just feel it soak in that unconditional love and then go into gratitude keep your mind busy with gratitude whatever you can think of be grateful for there's so many things to be grateful for yes so i have a question okay um when you are being grateful are you and maybe you're doing this with both situations, are you focusing on what to be grateful for? Or are you taking the thoughts that are coming in and putting them, feeling into gratitude for them? I would do both. So I would think of it and then I would it feel it. What then happened? I would, then I would move it to my heart. And that's when the energy field came in. Beautiful. When, when, cause your heart energy field is, is, um, more intense more expansive okay. and so when i would take the thought okay i'm grateful i don't want to say food I'm, I, I'm grateful for my husband you take the thought and then you feel love for that person your child your your mom your dad whatever you know you just feel it and you expand it in your heart and then that's when you start feeling the energy field come in beautiful that's if the gratitude beautiful. just brings the gratitude and love combined and you can combine your solar plexus and your heart, but you just feel it and just expand it. Just feel it expand, just envision it expanding. And that's when you feel, that's when the energy field came in for me. I love it. It does. Yeah. Thank you. So I don't want to kick you guys in meditation, out meditation, but I think it's good to see my example. And then, then Trinity's going to give her tips and tricks. And so if you will um, allow me to yes, yes, to just take you through this process real quick. I do sometimes I'll take a breath or two first. Okay. So I'm gonna take you through that. So get comfortable. We'll just do this real quick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Breath in, breathe in peace. Hold it for one, two, three, and then exhale, relaxation. Oh, I always do this too. Allow all the thoughts and the busyness of the day to take a back seat, put them off to the side. All the to-dos, all the things that weigh you down, put them to the side. They can be dealt with after this. From the base of your spine, visualize a cord or a rope going from the base of your spine down through the floor and it begins descending and cascading through all the layers of the earth. And as it does, you become more relaxed. It goes deeper and deeper and deeper and you are more relaxed. As it reaches the center, <clears throat> I send Gaia, Earth, some love, 
thank you. In return, she sends magnetic energy. Witness it. See it traveling up your grounding cord gracefully going up, up, up. And when it reaches your physical body, you witness that magnetic relaxing energy going through your energy centers and your muscles, connecting with your cells. That magnetic energy relaxes you further. Now focus on the crown top of your head and your crown begins to open and receive our creator, source, light, a tube of unconditional love. As it filters <clears throat> through your crown and this unconditional love begins to filter through your body I see it as iridescent white light. As it filters through your body, you begin to feel your energy field. Your energy field surrounds you. You're even more relaxed. Unconditional love and magnetic energy from the earth is vibrating the energy field around you. I begin to feel love and gratitude for all humanity. Love and gratitude. Feel it. Feel it in your heart and kind of push it out from your heart. Expand it and allow it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you can think of all the things you're grateful for and just go through that process. Also, when you are receiving source or magnetic energy, I like to put that in each chakra. I find it very powerful to work with the chakras. You could get a chart of the chakras, but I like to visualize it entering and seeing the red and the root going into the energy field and working that way up. I didn't include that because I didn't, I want to keep it simple, but once you do that, when you, you could just witness the chakras expanding and the colors expanding, you also have three chakras above your head. I like to feel into those because those are very powerful. So that's a simple process, but gratitude is huge. Grounding cord, source light, very simple and gratitude. And just let those energies of source and the earth relax you and keep your mind busy with gratitude. That's the Shamama Sherry way. Now I'll hand it over to Trinity so she can, um, because some of that may not resonate with you or you might find Trinity's tips and tricks to be better. And she's a pro at meditating. So there you go. There's any better or anything like that. But yes, some may resonate with different things. That was absolutely beautiful. I want to first give my gratitude to you, Shimama. Thank, Thank you so much. I love learning from you and I I very anchored into the heart because of you. So I am so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Now there are many ways um, that can be considered meditation and there's probably several ways that you all have meditated and not even knowing it. So I'm going to go through those just really quick, not too much into them, but just to give you the feeling of, oh, that's not too unfamiliar. You know, I'm not a stranger. Um, <laughs> there is active meditation, which is things like um, when you're on a walk when you're being very present with your walk, or maybe you are being your earthing. Um, those of you who do not know what earthing is, is maybe taking off your shoes and putting your feet into the earth and just breathing with earth or hugging that tree and, and just breathing. Um, even just 
focused attention on, on what is around you that way, those are types of meditation. Um, being present really is a type of meditation. That's a type of active meditation. Um, there are other ways like the, uh, our beautiful sister brought this up to us yesterday, actually. Um, and she likes to stare at a candle flame for a few moments and then she'll close her eyes and she'll just try to see how long she could envision that flame in her, you know, cause once you're looking at something and then you close your eyes, you can still see the imprint of it, right? And she'll just do that. I've also learned from uh, many medicine, um, medicine men, women and men that they can look at the flame that way as well. Mm -hmm. And whether they had their eyes opened or closed, they allow the um, flame to tell it a story and they translate a story through that. Those are ways of meditation as well. Um, there are, let's see, I'm trying to think of more active ways, but I suppose that kind of um, uh, sums it up there as far as being present in what you are doing. Um, and then there are, I like to personally focus on my breathing. If I, if I am very loud in my head, uh, there's actually, I can meditate without thinking period. Um, and it's actually pretty incredible. It took me a while to get to that point, but, um, and sometimes I could do it for like a whole minute and sometimes it's, you know, I could do it for a little bit longer. And sometimes it's five seconds, <laughs> but, um, a lot of the times when I am active, my thoughts are active, I will focus on my breathing. And how I do that is literally I, when I breathe in, my mind's eye will focus on that breath and bring it into the body. And I allow myself to witness the sensations that the breath is giving my body. And then I exhale. Uh, there are guided meditations as well. And those are probably one of the best ways to get into meditation if you have a very busy mind because you have something to focus on. Uh, the only thing with meditation, guided meditations that I found to be hard is when they're telling you to have clarity on something, you know. Um, so those that are like the manifesting guided meditations, you will, you will be, um, not forced, but asked to have clarity on what you're picturing. But if you do that and you get frustrated because you're like, well, I don't know the specifics, it's okay. You don't have to. If you just allow yourself to picture whatever comes up and, and just focus on that and continue going. Um, when we are doing a, whether it be a guided meditation or a silent meditation, you're focusing on your breathing or whatever. And thoughts will come through, learning how to allow the, or to just witness the thought and allow it to continue to move through is key for meditation that I have found. Um, I have done, I'm gonna bring up just a couple specific examples that you can use. If a thought comes in, you can picture it as a baseball coming in. And when you bring your awareness to the thoughts, so you notice that you're thinking a thought, right? Sometimes you could think a thought and it's like moments until you're like, oh crap, I'm not supposed to be thinking, right? So just as soon as you think about that thought, when you bring your awareness that you're thinking that thought, picture it as a baseball and like you have a bat and, and, it, and you hit it and it just flies out of the field, right? Just allow it to go. Um, you could also picture it as a butterfly. So it comes in, it lands, and then it flies away. The point of it is, is to allow it to flow through. When we attach ourselves to the thought, that's when our body is chemically responding to that thought. And it's creating that stress and that worry and that story, right? Well, meditation is, is a lot about just allowing everything to flow through so that you can receive what you need to, which is probably just a break from thinking if, if you know, we're really busy. Um, I do want to tell a little story before I go into a simple sample of meditation. Uh, just a couple days ago, 
we were in a, um, we had to evacuate, an emergency evacuation. Um, our little area here got flooded. And during this process, my neighbor, I was outside obviously, because we're preparing for this and getting ready to leave. And I saw that she was like freaking out. Like she could not breathe. I could tell, you could just tell in her face, right? And so of course I walk over to her and I hug her of course, and that's just what I gotta do. I'm giving her a big hug and I'm noticing her breathing is just like, she's breathing so fast and so short. I was surprised that she was able to still stand. So I started just taking deep breaths in and out and allowing her to mimic my breathing and just her following and mimicking my breathing. We did this for like five minutes. And that right there is a form of meditation and holding the space for her to do that allowed her to be more productive in the emergency evacuation and made her feel a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, she was still freaked out, but she was able to, to allow those thoughts that were coming in her head, those worst case scenario thoughts, she detached from them for a moment and allowed them to flow through. And that really um, gave her the opportunity to be more productive in the actual taking action of this emergency. So a lot of the times when we are really stressed um, and, and we're just so, our story is so taking up all the room in our head, just breathe, just breathe. Focus on that breath in and that breath out, that breath in and that breath out. I'm telling you, it allow that air to come in and share the space with those thoughts. And it allows movement to flow. And that is medicine in itself. <laughs> um, so I guess I could just take you through a little, um, just a couple of deep breaths in and out. Um, I won't go into a full guided meditation or anything. I'll, if something comes up and spirit tells me one thing or another, then maybe we will do that. But um, I'll be done in just a few minutes. <laughs> um, but if you do find a thought coming in, when you bring your awareness to it, shelf it, put it on the shelf. You can think about it later. You know, oh, Billy is back. All right. Hello, Billy. Good to have you back. <sighs> um, so yeah, just bring your awareness to those thoughts and allow it to continue to flow. Through. Put it on the shelf, make it a butterfly, make it a baseball, whatever you, whatever is good for you. My goodness. <laughs> All right. So I will go ahead and invite you to gently close your eyes. I personally like to sit up straight um, because I work with the breath a lot. So it just is an easier way for the breath to flow through. <sighs> if you need your hands to do something, you can put them in the cone shape, like a triangle shape with your fingertips touching each other. You can make certain mudras that also helps. Um, you can tap on your knees as well if you need to fidget that way. Just get your, your fingers to do whatever they need to do because that is perfectly okay. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath in through the nose, bringing it in. And then go ahead and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose. and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> now take a nice deep breath in through the nose, bring it in, 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 and hold at the top. Relax your tongue, relax your face, your shoulders. When you are ready, you can slowly exhale through the mouth. And you could make a noise on the exhale, that is perfectly fine. Go ahead and bring an inhale through your nose and allow your mind's eye to bring its attention through your body. Follow the breath through your body. 
just witnessing the sensations. Whenever you are ready, you can exhale through your mouth. Just make it nice and slow and calm breaths. Continuing the breathing in and out, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Our attention is gonna go into the body. So we're just going to feel where that breath goes. Where our focus goes, energy goes. And when we are focusing on the breath, and where it's going into our body. It helps our circulation. It helps our cell regeneration. It helps the aches and pains and stagnant energy to move. Focus on your toes. And bring that energy up to the shins to the knees, your thighs, your buttocks, pelvic area, your hips, the back, the lower back, the belly. Nice deep breaths in and out, traveling up the torso. Filling into the middle back, to the upper back, the chest, your shoulders. Let's go into our arms, the elbows, our hands, our fingers, and then travel back up into that heart. Take a good deep breath in to the heart. And exhale through the mouth. Go ahead and continue traveling up the throat, into your face. And knowing it's okay if thoughts come through, just allow them to come, allow them to be noticed, witness, and then just let them go. There's nothing you need to do in this particular moment about any of those thoughts, except allow them to be seen and allow them to be free. Go ahead and take another really deep breath in, breathing in through the nose, in, in, in. Let's hold at the top one more time, relaxing your tongue and your shoulders. Whenever you're ready, you can slowly exhale through the mouth. Bringing your breathing back to relax, deep breaths in and out. You could sit here for as long as you would like. And you can come back to this anytime you would like. When you're ready, you can bring your hands together, rubbing them together, awakening the nerves. Is there any way I can get the video? Yes, are you still on here, Billy? Oh, he wants the video. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, he did ask as far as the video, we do record this and we put it on our um, platform. It's called Stars of Unity. Stars has two R's. It's under in our name right there. We also posted it in the chat, the actual link, but it's starsofunity.com. It's a free platform. You will need to create a little profile um, and we have lots of beautiful, fun stuff. We do uh, different meditations. Um, in most all of our events, we usually have a meditation or two anyways. If you guys liked this or are interested to dive a little deeper, or maybe you need a 102 and, and you're like, I am golden, let's do this. I want to learn more. Um, or maybe you want to learn more of the education on it. Um, whatever that is, join us over at our community and let us know because we are here to serve in every way that we can. We're here to support as well. 
meditation for me personally um, has not only saved my life, but probably saved my family's life, <laughs> at least my children's, that's for sure. Um, but I also have them practice meditation. I do this 10, 10, and 10 breathing, where we breathe in 10 seconds, hold it for 10, and exhale for 10. And that has helped, especially my younger son, um, out on many different levels. There's a lot of times where when you're younger, you know, things don't go your way and it gets frustrating or, um, you know, you're just a busy, busy, busy person. Sometimes you have to calm down. So, um, mm. yeah, it's for that, me, it's that was very useful. beautiful. Trinity, thank you. There's also, we'll probably do a breath work class at one point, but also in our community is some good links for a great breath work. Breath work is amazing. You'll feel like you are vibrating at the end of it. You will feel almost like an altered state, but not in a scary way. So breath work is really good. Um, and that, that resource is on there too. So yeah, I forgot about the 10, 10, 10 when you told me about that. Yeah. Uh, meditations. That's really good for kids because trying to teach them a grounding cord and this and that, but 10, you know, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 You yeah. can start off with four, four, and four. A lot of people do that. They'll do breathing in, okay. four, hold four, um, let go of four. My kids are crazy. So I say 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to start meditation too. Cause you have to keep your mind busy with the counting, mm -hmm. you know, and then you're really focusing on the breath. I, I love that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and I would love to, I love to bring in mudras and mantras. It's very, there's a lot mm -hmm. of um, juicy, delicious medicine in that energy medicine mm -hmm. in those as well. So if you're interested in that stuff too, uh, let us know in the comments or join us over in our community and let us know yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'd like to, we have a messaging in there too. I'd like to, if you guys do join, let us know how it's going and if you know if you have any hiccups or you know what what works best and mm -hmm. and um definitely definitely honestly we would not be doing this if this doesn't make a difference it makes a difference in every area of your life and it and looks uh, different for everybody too so there's yeah. no wrong way there's no right and wrong way and when i say connecting to your energy field once you connect to your energy field and then you're connecting to the quantum field and unlimited quantum possibilities i like to say <laughs> you're connecting beyond just yes you're connecting to uh so many beautiful things so yeah <laughs> so buckle up <laughs> well, meditation meditation for you personally has opened up channeling so if you guys like, want to dive real deep down the hole channeling is, is an option and, and and stuff for me it's been pretty amazing yeah it's and amazing. just yeah very amazing so but overall yeah. just uh health wise uh mentally and physically there's unlimited benefits to mm -hmm. it so uh, find your find your moment and create space for yourself to give yourself a minute or two each day just to take a couple deep breaths for yourself check in check in with yourself <laughs> and once you can you feel that connection to the energy field I could literally, if I needed to, even without breaths, I could go to that point. I'm just, because I'm used to it, I can connect with it. It's so beautiful. So once you go into that flow, so. Yes. Yeah, so connect Amazing. with us. We love you guys. Thank you Thank so, you. so much. Happy meditating. Do you have any questions? The chat is still open. So if there's any questions, if you want to clarify something, otherwise we will let you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining Hope us. Hope to see you in Stars of Unity. Watch for our other events and feel free to drop us a review if you are so inclined. <laughs> we love you. We, we, we feel you and you're beautiful. Thank you, Justin. So glad that you, you. joined us. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Justin. Glad it was informative. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you at Stars. <laughs> um, amazing. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Bye Rob. <laughs> I love her. <laughs>
Kara's got to say something. Oh, no, oh. she's out. I was going to say, I know she's got to say something. Hold up. You have to unmute her. She's gonna talk. Oh, well, let me stop Yay. the recording. Yeah, hold on. 